Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Um, today I was going to do my January budget plan with me, but I had that video um, recorded and ready to go and editing was not working, technology was not on my side, so I had to scrap that and instead I am just going to kind of show you how I am currently using the Budget Happy Planner for my budgeting needs for the month of January. As always, check the description below. I will link the sticker shops that I used in here. I think I mostly use Nash Printwork and the um, Happy Planner budget book. But um, if there's any others I come across, I'll try to link them below for you. I've also got links to my social media and any um, referral discount codes or PR codes listed down there as well. So I did finally get some rings for this. Um, I pulled these off of a Happy Notes um, notebook. Um, and we're just gonna go to January really quick. I'll show you how I'm using it. So over here, um, I've got my stickers laid out for all of my bills. So, you know, my student loan, my car insurance. This is something that's due only every three months. So I lay that down well in advance. And then I've got these little flags here you can kind of see. The lighting is a little bit bad tonight, but see these little flags here? Those are my auto pay. And then I've got laid out for my credit cards where the prices vary. And then like TV and stuff like that, again, where the prices vary. Some of these I actually just haven't filled in yet, um, even though I've already paid them. Since I am filming this on the 17th, the video, this video will go up on the 18th. And then over here, I've got this little payday sticker that I need to fill in. So that is all I've done for that, is just laid down the stickers of knowing what's auto pay, my paydays, and different flexible bills. Then I also have been going in and using the three columns in this way. I do my account balances in this top bar. That's my checking, my savings, and emergency. I don't really do a retirement um, account balance there, but I do pay into my retirement at work. And then here in the second column, I write down my bills and what to do. And then I write down any money I've earned in a green pin. So like I sold a planner item, so I added that down here. Then down at this bottom one, I write in all of my spending. And so I've got, you know, I spent, I went to $2 trees and that's what I spent. And so I just kind of write in all my spending each day. And I like doing this because it allows me to reference the date really easily. I can flip there and be like, okay, this week I spent this much money at these stores. So that is how I am using it. And so as you can see, each week I've filled that in. And these other top boxes, I was kind of, as my account balances changed writing those in, I just didn't have any changes in those weeks. So now here I did have a change. So I wrote it out on Monday starting out and then on Friday it was different. So I wrote out the new balances there. Um, and then I decided for this week that I wanted to start tracking my debt that I needed to pay. And I say debt because it's my credit cards. It's not actually that I'm like behind on them or anything like that. It's just what I need to pay. So I went ahead and I wrote credit card balances. I wrote the date that I checked them, which was the same time I did these account balances. And then I just wrote each of the credit cards and the balance due. And then down here, I went ahead and wrote out my auto loan and how much is left on that. Cause I do try to pay a little bit of extra when I can. And then I also put my savings accounts down here that are not listed up in the emergency fund. I tried to put those down there and I need to start writing in those totals each week because I do gain interest on those. So that is how I'm going to start using that sidebar. Now it says weekly spending. I do way more than one, two, three, four, five weekly things of weekly spending. Um, so I figured that writing my credit card balances over here would be best. So that is how I'm currently using it. As you can see, I am just got the bills written in for next week. I have not done credit card balances yet because I will do that on Monday. And then um, that is how I'll do the rest of the month. And then for the expense tracker, instead of writing my individual expenses, I actually decided to do a little breakdown of my paychecks. So what I did here is I did paycheck one and wrote the date and I wrote all of the bills that need to be paid from that paycheck and the total down here. 
and then um, I wrote paycheck two and all the bills that need to come out of that paycheck. And I haven't totaled it yet because I need to write out those credit card amounts there. So that's how I'm using this expense tracker sheet for January. I might do it a little bit differently in February though. I'm trying different things out. I also pulled um, some of these little half sheet expense trackers and I was writing out like a certain credit card. Um, and when I charged to it, this method was, has not been working for me, so I'm not going to continue that into February, but it might work for some. Just to me, it, it wasn't working. And then over here, I did a complete bill pay, and what I did for this, let me pull it up. Um, what I did for this is when I wrote out all of my bills, I tried to write them in order of the date that they're due, and then over here, I try to write out my um, MasterCard balance because that's always my biggest card because the bulk of my bills go on it. And then I try to write out my payments right here, which I wrote my last payment was from the third. Obviously, I'm behind. I've made some payments since then. But anyways, so I wrote out the bills here and I write little like ones and twos next to them. And what those little numbers there indicate is which paycheck it's coming from. So like this one, my first paycheck for January was on the 11th. So a payment for the third is actually coming from my second paycheck from back in December. So that's what these little numbers represent. And this is just a good little reference to help me when I'm writing in my expense tracker and divvying up how the bills are gonna go. So that's what I've done. And then down here, I put some gaps. Like I didn't know when Happy Scrappy was due, so I wrote it down here and I've since filled it in. I didn't know when my Zulily card was due, so I've since wrote it in. Childcare, I pay it um, every Tuesday, so I wrote in all those dates. And then I wrote in my paydays down there and then tuition. Again, these were just things that were up in the air and I have not updated this sheet yet. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you all how I was using it. Um, that way, um, I am sharing my January budget with you all. And then for February, I will do a plan with me. Um, and hopefully technology will be on my side and it will upload and edit just fine. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.